Hi again. So in this lecture, we're going to see how to diagnose a cell from motherboard. Okay. So the first step is a visual inspection. So always before doing anything on the cell from motherboard, you should first check all parts and components of the motherboard. For example, you can begin with the power jack. You should check the power jack. Okay. Check inside the power jack. Okay. Check all parts as you can see also here. These pins. Check the soldering. You can then go and check the battery connector. Okay. Check the SIM card. So you can go and check switches as you can see. This is just a visual inspection and check all the ICs. Okay. So you should check the body of the ICs because sometimes you can find a bad IC, a burnt out IC. Okay. Then check this to see the component like capacitors and inductors. As you can see here, you can also check the motherboard itself. The motherboard can be broken, so you should check the motherboard itself. Okay, and then check all connectors, as you can see, like these connectors, for example. For this motherboard, as you can see here also, this is the power jack. In the power jack, always you should check inside the power jack and the solder, as you can see here. Also, this part, as you can see here. After that, you should check whether you have 5 volt or not in the power jack. So when you connect the USB connector, as you can see here in the power jack, you should go and look for the 5 volt in the next capacitor to the power jack. As you can see, here we have a ceramic capacitor. When you plug the USB connector, you can find here 5 volt. If you don't, if you didn't find 5 volt, means there is a problem in the power jack. Maybe these pins are not soldered correctly or this part inside the power jack is broken. Okay. So as you can see here, also for this motherboard here, we don't have PF capacitor. But if we see the other side, as you can see, we have here the SMD component. If you check this capacitor or this, you will find here 5 volt because this component are near to the power jack. So always after the visual inspection, you should check whether you have 5 volt or not. Okay, then you should check the ICs. You should check if the, the serviceability of ICs and chips of the motherboard. How can you check? this ICs and chips. Easy. You should just check the ceramic capacitor around the IC. If you find that the ceramic capacitor around the IC are not shorted to the ground means the IC is good. I will show you how using the multimeter. So we have here our multimeter. So Let's first select the buzzer or the continuity option and then press the power button as you can see. So now, for example, let's check the serviceability of this IC. Because you cannot check the pins of IC. We don't have here the, the pin of IC. This is an integrated circuit. But we have here the component, same the component around the IC, especially the ceramic capacitor or the PF capacitor. So if you find that this ceramic capacitor or this or anyone here is shorted, means the IC is bad. Because always any ceramic capacitor around the IC is connected to the ground in one terminal, just in one terminal, not in both. So let's check, for example, so here we have the ground, as you can see, I have the ground everywhere. So I will put the block from here in the ground, okay? And then let's check, for example, this capacitor. 
I will find that any capacitor here is going to is connected to the ground in one side just so let's check this for example so the capacitor is connected to the ground as you can see the multimeter low resistance okay but should not be connected to the ground in this side as you can see good means this capacity is good means the ic is not shorted to the ground because this terminal this side is connected to the ic and this is going to the ground when the ic is shorted you will find also this side connected to the ground also when you check the capacitor like this you will find a continuity like this okay so let's check this also the same working principle let's check here one side is connected to the ground the other side the other side now here one side is connected to the ground the other si side now here so this side connected to the ground this now here this is connected to the ground but for this now okay but if you find that a chemical capacitor for example is connected to the ground in both sides means what means the IC is bad okay you can use this method in every IC circuit for this for example let's check this PF capacitor so here we have the ground as you can see so let's check here the side that is connected to the ground but this should not be connected to the ground as you can see okay this connected to the ground this should need to be connected to the ground as you can see okay i will show you this techniques and these tips in the schematic so let's go to the paper i will show you all this in a schematic okay let's assume that this is ic we have for example an ic this is for example ic okay this is ic so here for example we have the vcc let's assume that here we have the vcc for example let's assume that the VCC equal to 5 volt. Here, for example, we have the ground. Okay. For example, here we have enable, enable signal, etc. So for every AC, you will find some capacitors that is connected to the ground exactly like this. Many capacitors that is connected to the ground. You can find, for example, here another capacitor and that is connected to the ground this is ceramic capacitors okay this is ceramic capacitors so all these capacitors should be connected to the ground in one side in this side for example for this but in this side no so let's assume that this capacitor for example if you check the continuity of this capacitor you get a continuity or a buzzer means what means also this side is connected to the ground where through as you can see the ice always to check whether the ice is good or not you should just check the capacitor near to this ice if if you find the capacitor are shorted to the ground in both sides means the IC is bad. You should replace it with another IC with the same reference. Okay? You can also check the IC using just your finger. Okay? You can just feel the heat of this IC. If you find that the heat of this IC is not normal, is increased. I mean the IC is very hot means the IC is bad okay so you have three methods or three ways that you can use to check whether the IC is good or not by feeling the heat of this the IC if the heat is increased if it is hot means the IC is bad or you can check the PF capacitor around the IC to find that 
one of this capacitor is shorted to the ground in both sides means the IC is bad. You can also check the body of this IC. If you find something in the body, if this IC, for example, a burn or a hole or something like that, mean or a crack means the IC is bad. I will show you a bad IC. Okay, I will show you a bad IC in another motherboard of the laptop. So, as you can see here, this is an example of a bad IC. Do you see this IC? This is an IC that is burned out. As you can see, we have here a hole. This IC should be replaced. Okay, so always you should check the body of the IC. The body of the IC should be clean and should be normal.